Hello everybody and um, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all okay and that you're having a really nice week so far. Um, today's video I thought would be a nice idea to talk about what I've been reading, listening to and watching on Netflix because God knows <laughs> we all need some nice distractions and things to get our heads stuck into that isn't just the unsettling time that we're all going through. So yes, I thought I'd start with what I've been reading because although I've not been able to read loads and loads because sometimes my head takes me off in a place that means that I can't concentrate enough to read big, big chapters, I have found so much comfort in the pages of shorter books but the right books. Um, I've tried and failed with a couple of books that I probably will never pick up ever again but these are the books that I, I've really really enjoyed and I'm, I'm enjoying now so I thought it'd be quite nice to share with you. They're all fiction, uh, nothing too heavy at all and just really nice reads. Um, so I'll start with this one. So this one is called Heartburn and it's by Nora Ephron and Nora Ephron is I think one of my favourite writers ever, ever. Um, she wrote the screenplay play for When Harry Met Sally amongst so many others as well. She's like the most talented person. Um, she sadly died now but she honestly, her words are unbelievable. So this is just a really raw, funny account of a little bit of heartbreak coupled in with um, some food recipes and some just honest quips about real life and I love her for that because she just tells it how it is without um, mincing her words and I love it so much and that's her basic style of writing like she's just so cool. So that's Heartburn by Nora Ephron and look how thin that is. You can smash that out in a few days um, and then sticking with Nora. The next one I've just finished reading um, is I Feel Bad About My Neck and and Other Thoughts on Being a Woman. Um, and Do Dolly Alderton wrote the introduction to this, which is really lovely too. But again, Nora just literally blew me out of the water with this. Uh, look at the state of my book as well. They're all dog-eared. I read them like this, like I get stuck into them. Um, I don't know what kind of person you are with your books, but mine are weathered. They look like they've been through the wash when I've had hold of them. But again, this one's amazing and it's about growing older, the things that she's had to face and come to terms with as she gets older and the things that she's not willing to compromise on. Um, and it's just a really beautiful account of that. So that's my next one. We've got three more books to go as well. Um, I finished reading this last week and it's Where the Crawdads Sing by Delia Owens. And my God, this book absolutely captured me. I couldn't put it down. It just transported me exactly to that time of life. Um, and it's set in America in 19, I feel like I wanna say 1920s, 1930s. Um, and it's beautiful and it's massive escapism. I found it really easy and soothing and comforting to read because she describes nature in such a way that makes you feel like you're there with her as well. And I feel like I really needed that at this time as well because we're, we're not really allowed to be going out. So yeah, I think it is such a beautiful book and well worth a read. And it's not too big, it's just a step up from the Nora Ephron one, so you can manage that. Um. This book, so this one looks in pristine condition because I've ordered it for the second time. I gave my first copy away because I loved it so much. I was like, everybody needs to read it. Um, and it's called Sweet Bitter and it's by Stephanie Danler. And that's a similar length to Craud Where the Crawdads Sing as well. This is like a cool coming of age book. Like I love anything that's about coming of age drama. All of those things that go hand in hand with growing up. Um, and this book really stuck with me. And I think it was about three years ago that I read this and I bought it again the other day because I was like I'm desperate to read it again and it's about a girl who is down on her luck and she moves to New York um, to work in this high powered uh, kitchen um, in this amazing Michelin star restaurant and it's just the trials and tribulations that she goes through in her new life and it is amazing and she's very young in it as well like I think early 20s so yeah I could not recommend that enough that's a proper girly get stuck into one and then finally for books, um, I'm just now, how many pages? 37 pages through Happiness as Such by Natalia Ginsberg. And she's an Italian writer. And this book is set in Italy um, in 1970s in Rome. And oh, it's just so beautiful. I am obsessed with the characters already. They've all got their own quirks and really strong little storylines and life um, 
life tales that that come up all the way through so far and i have not really because i'm only 37 pages in i'm not really fully into what the story is going to be yet and i try not to read the back to 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 ruin it for myself i just go off recommendations and then just get stuck in but so far beautiful writing and really fun as well like so i yeah i would recommend this loads so i reckon i'll i'll finish that in the next week or so but i'll crack on with that today as well um, and then I don't have any visuals for you for the next one, so I'll just talk you through what I've been listening to. And I'll write these in the description box in case you feel like you might have the same music taste as me. Which is rare, but we can, we can but hope. Um, so in terms of what I've been listening to, so I love pop music. I love lots of music, but I love pop. And Dua Lipa's new album is called Future Nostalgia, I think. Yeah, Future Nostalgia, and it is honestly a bop. It is so good. It's so good. And whenever I'm on my walk or whether I'm just working or in the house or working out even, it's just the most uplifting album. Like, and she's so bloody talented um, that I love that. And it's a real feel, feel good track. So uh, that's my first one for Dua Lipa. Second one is, it's been out a while now, but if I feel like I need to get lost in something or I need to have like some chill time, then I'll stick on Harry Styles' um, album, Fine Line. And there's some songs on there that I could just listen to over and over and over again. And it's a very beautiful album. And again, just one for relaxing to, I would say. And then, I don't know um, if you know yet, but Frank Ocean has released two new tracks recently and they're both so good. Um, I don't know when his album's coming out, but he released one called Dear April and another track called Kendo. and they're both, honestly, they're class, both of them. So I've been listening to those non-stop and they're just uplifting, fun, but like classic Frank Ocean, just dead cool. Um, so those ones are my final recommendations for music in my Spotify playlist. Um, let me know if you want me to like make a playlist or anything. I mean, send me your requests or recommendations of what you kind of want to hear and I could amalgamate something for you all but only if you'd like to um, and then moving on to our beloved Netflix <laughs> so there isn't a stone that I have left unturned on Netflix I am honestly obsessed with it and I watch so much I watch so many films I watch so many series there isn't anything that I haven't really watched yet and I have I don't have a watch list because I know exactly what I need to watch in here so I'll tell you about the things that I've been watching and stuff that I think is really worthwhile. So the first thing, um, I watched this in the, f I cleaned it out in the first week of lockdown um, and it's called Dare Me and it's based on a high school cheerleading squad and honestly it is coming of age in its finest form. There are drugs, there is sex, there is murder, it is madness like and I just keep thinking when I was 15, I was not behaving like this. I, I wore gel in my hair and I didn't really know what makeup was and boys definitely didn't want to kiss me, let alone do anything else. <laughs> so there we are. Massive, massive difference, but it is really good, really good watch. It's quite gripping. The season one finishes on a massive cliffhanger, so I'm like, please make a season two. But it's just an easy watch as well. One tip though is you need to watch this when it's either in a dark room or at night time because I was trying to watch it in the day and it's shot in a really dark way like the lighting in throughout the whole thing obviously because it's quite a dark series is very dark so all I could see was my bloody own reflection in the telly when I was trying to watch it so yeah that's just my one small tip for that um my next one is Ozark so that is about money laundering in America and it's all to do with the Mexican drug cartel as well. But it's it's like about this family who are in, in, entangled in it all and, and the sacrifices they all make and there's like teenagers in it and like there's so many different storylines throughout it. It's not, it's not a documentary. Docu, it's not a docu. It's not a documentary. Um, but that's, that's class and that's three seasons and the third season's out now and I'm on, I've got two more episodes of the last season to go and I'm like, oh my god what is gonna happen and it's it's really really good so i couldn't recommend that one enough the next one is obviously tiger king i don't know if you've all watched it yet or not um at first it's like quite upsetting because of the state of the animals and it's just really crap to see that that happens in america but 
I then became fascinated with the characters in it and have not been able to stop thinking about them. It is wild, like it's a wild ride. So I think that's a really good one to get stuck into. Um, and it's just like nothing I've ever watched before ever. So I would really recommend that. Um, and then I've got final two for you to recommend on Netflix. One of them is a documentary. So I like, as I said before, I love pop music. Therefore I love Taylor Swift. I think Swifty is so, brilliant honestly from what she's built from being a teenager i'm just like oh my god like look at you and so the, her documentary is called miss america and it follows her from her really young days to current and it it goes into even all of the, the parts where she was at the vmas and kanye west came up on stage and stole the microphone off her and told her that beyonce deserved to win what what taylor was winning and it is wild and you see her go through so many ups and downs and honestly she is the most normal woman <laughs> ever and it just it was just a really lovely watch like i really enjoyed it and i love her even more after i've watched it now so i, I would recommend that one and then finally the ultimate coming of age drama i mean i know that i said dare me was but riverdale oh my god i've fallen in love with all the characters like i literally want to marry archie it's just not gonna happen though because he's quite a lot younger than me he lives in australia and i've tried to see how the logistics work but it's, honestly it's just too much he's called kj apper and he's honestly a dream um but yeah there is umpteen um seasons of riverdale so you've got so much to get stuck into there and it is just drama after drama after drama and yeah the storylines are far-fetched but my god can i lose myself in that for hours on end the answer is yes and there's a bonus episode coming out on the 16th of april which is in a couple of days uh, yeah a couple of days from me filming this um and i honestly i'm just like oh, counting down the minutes because it's amazing um and if you need any more help getting into it cole sprouse is also into it in it and he's obviously a beautiful beautiful man so that's it so that's my my books my um albums and netflix recommendations i hope that that's all good for you and that you managed to get yourself stuck into something new uh do let me know if you do as well or let me know if you've seen stuff already and i'm just like preaching to the choir because you're all like yep yeah, done it seen that got t-shirts all of it um but yes i'm gonna leave you there now with that and i hope you have a really lovely day and find yourself getting lost in some books some music and some what, what's the other thing i talked about netflix <laughs> bye